hey guys, uh, FX on the house is back, and this time is for a, a really cool uh, series of tutorials for Cinema 4D uh, on cloth. Um, this time is to, uh, I'm going to explain you how to stretch cloth uh, on Cinema 4D, uh, building just, uh, I'm going to say, like uh, two objects and uh, grabbing the, um, the cloth and stretching it. So uh, you're going to learn some really cool things, and I uh, hope you follow the tutorial. So uh, meanwhile, uh, for those who are following my channel, um, the first project of that delayed uh, projects list is already launched. Everything is running good, but I wanted to make a short tutorial for you guys to, to keep up going. So I uh, hope you follow along this uh, uh, class series tutorial uh, for Cinema 4D, and I uh, hope you enjoy. So let's keep on track. Okay, guys, uh, let's get on it. So uh, first of all, um, like always, I, I leave a scene file for you guys to download and follow along the tutorial like easily and fast. And uh, what we have to do now is, um, if you want to, to go, just check out this scene. Uh, it's the scene that I, that I edited. But uh, this um, this thing, uh, I turn it over the the hyper nerves and the cloud nerves, uh, so it's uh, less res. So um, this is just for you to to check out. You, you want you you can also like put this on. Uh, it's going to slow down your thing. So. This is the scene file that I that I did for that image, and I hope you enjoy it. So, uh, but uh, this is the tutorial, and we're going to follow it along. So, uh, let's grab our thing, and let's hide it in here, and let's start a, a new tutorial. Let's start a, a new scene for that. So, um, first of all, I'm going to put my plane. It's going to be my, it's going to be my cloth. So, I'm going to put on a Z position, pull it up, and I'm going to put uh, two cubes just to to have the an object uh, grabbing the I'm grabbing the cloth, so uh, I'm going to bring this cube over here, put it like this. I'm going to make it a little bit uh, thinner. That's good. Just, just to make uh, two objects to, to grab on the scene. Uh, very important um, on starting of this. Uh, we, we will not, we will need these objects to to be editable. So um, I'm going to, to put just a few polygons over here to, for the cloth. Uh, have some points to grab. So. Um, this is also very important. So I'm going to here and I'm going to put just about six, seven. Seven is good. I'm going to just lower this a little bit because it's very big. And our scene file is almost ready to, to start. So I can grab my my control and the uh, drag. And we have two objects and we're going to the front front uh, front mode. Uh, we're going to put this just a little bit better to work. Okay, our scene file is already ready to, to, to start and um, to have dynamics and all that. And um, uh, that's it. So okay, we're going to we're going to edit our object. So uh, I'm going to hit the plane and I hit C, hit the cube, hit C, and I hit another cube and C again. So. Uh, our objects are already editable and uh, they are ready to work. So, uh, okay, on the plane, I'm going to make a cloth tag. And uh, also, I need to uh, select two tags to, to grab the, the objects to the cloth. So I'm going to put two cloth belts. Uh, I'm going to first the first one and the second one. Uh, that's okay. Uh, what we need to do is um, to grab this uh, belt tags and uh, attach it to the to the rest of the plane and the cubes so um what, what we need to do is going to our front mode uh, front mode view and i'm uh, going to zoom this a little bit and we are ready okay so i'm going to grab my point view i'm going to hit on plane i'm going to do it on the life selection tool i'm going to choose these guys to grab on the on the first cube that is this one so i'm going to hit my belt tag the points are already selected. I'm going to drag uh, my first cube and hit set. So uh, once you see these yellow little dots, uh, it's because that the object is already grabbed on the on the plane and on the object. So uh, everything is running good. I'm going to grab the second cloth belt and I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to select these points on the plane and I'm going to uh, hit the cloth belt, grab the cube and hit set. And it's already yellow. It's cool. So um, we already have our cloth going, our plane. But uh, first of all, uh, let's just uh, um, attach one thing uh, that uh, the cloth uh, tag needs a lot to work better. It's the, um, the cloth nerves. So I'm going to hit the cloth nerves, press Alt, and uh, 
and should be attached on the plane. That's cool. Okay, so um, our project, it seems like it's good to start and to, to see some reactions on the player. So let's uh, see how is this uh, going on. Yeah, if you hit play, uh, you see that, uh, uh, how can I say, the, the cloth uh, it hangs on the on the, the on, on the objects, but uh, it's still like uh, getting out of someone uh, because um, uh, you also uh, need to put uh, how can I say like uh, cloth colliders on this on these objects, and it will, it will run a little bit better. So let's do it. We're going to select our both cubes, and we're going to put a cloth collider, and see if we have some changes. Yeah, it's very more rich now. So. Um, after this, uh, you have to, I'm going to say, um, play a lot with the dynamics of the cloth. So uh, you can you can uh, take uh, a little bit, uh, I'm going to say, of the gravity. I also, I always like to take uh, a lot of gravity from that. Uh, just for the, the cloth, uh, I'm going to say, catch more, more turbulence and wind and, uh, I'm not going to say, atmospheric uh, uh, dynamics. So I'm going to put the strength a little bit of the wind, like 1.5. This should be good. I'm going to see my point mode uh, Z direction. Should be here. I'm going to bring it a little bit more, and I'm going to see uh, how this thing is working. So, yeah, sounds okay. So we have like waving and all that thing, and uh, the our first point mode was the how can I say the point tutorial was the the stretch. So uh, we had to to make a, how can I say this setup. To, to keep up uh, on the tutorial. So the first thing is done, and uh, what you need to do is very easy and very basic. You're going to grab your cubes. Uh, you're going to put on this mode, it's better. And then you're going to hit, uh, how can I say, you're going to hit um, a key on, on here, and you're going to push this a little bit on the, like about 30. 30 should be good, just to not have like a fast reaction on the cloth and tear it up. Uh, and uh, we're going to like uh, grab grab the, the cube and drag it a little bit over here. Don't worry about this because uh, the object with the, the cloth will will, will go. Uh, how can I say behind the uh, the cube? So it's it's okay. Uh, okay, we're going to set our, our animation to here. And then we're going to grab the second cube. Uh, we're going to add one key here. And I'm going to put like 30, and you're going to move this a little bit from where you like. You press another key, and there you have the animation. So if you press start now, you see that the objects are pulling the, how can I say, the, the cloth and, uh, and dragging it. So um, it's this. It's a very cool and easy tutorial. Uh, I'm not here to explain uh, how can I say the textures and all that thing. If you want me, uh, that that is going to be a like a tutorial to to make a, a, like a on a few days more. So um, the tutorial is this: you can uh, play a lot with the how can I say the cloth dynamics, uh, I can I say the cloth subdivisions to increase your your render quality, and uh, you can also like uh, grab um, hyperherbs. It it would it is going to be like really. It's 100 times better, so uh, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, it, this is the, the tutorial for to stretch like cloth with two objects and um, hope you find it uh, useful for your, to, for your thing and for your animations and um, keep following. Uh, I'm going to, to keep working on my projects and uh, other tutorials and um, hope you, I see you on the, the, the next uh, cloth tutorials on Cinema 4D here in FX channel house. So, uh, Hope you enjoy it and um, hope you like it. So guys, uh, keep following up and uh, big thumbs for the tutorial. So cheers.